Hey everyone, Dion here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to add a boot animation to your RetroPie. Adding a boot animation is a simple way to add additional polish to your RetroPie setup. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you'll want to do is get your RetroPie booted up. Now that we've got the RetroPie booted up, you want to jump onto your desktop computer and what we will do is use an app called WinSCP to drop a downloaded animation onto the RetroPie. What we can do here is connect to the RetroPie by putting in RetroPie for the host name, um, which should just let you connect without having to know the IP address of the RetroPie. Um, the default username is Pi and the password is Raspberry. Hit log in. And since this is the first time that I'm logging into it, it's gonna ask if I wanna continue. I'm gonna say yes. And we are now on the RetroPie. Here in the home folder of the Pi user, we'll go into the RetroPie directory. And then in here, we're just gonna go into the splash screens directory. And this is where we will put our video file for the RetroPie boot animation. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just hop on to Chrome and we're just going to go to YouTube and I am going to use a boot animation that I created. So what we'll do here is just put in Dion Monk You go to playlists and RetroPie. I have a couple of different animations here. There's a simple 4x3 resolution splash screen, a 16x10, and a 16x9. 16x9 is probably the most common. If we click here, you can see this animation. Just a very basic RetroPie joystick with a Game Boy uh, boot sound and then a, some simple dots that go across to show that it's loading. So we can pause that there. To get this, we'll scroll down here just a little bit and here's a download link to the file. So this uses an MKV video file. The reason for that is MKV probably has the best or Matroska has the best quality for an animation like this. Different video formats kind of blur between the red and the black like it just doesn't do a very good transition it looks terrible so the MKV actually does a great job so uh, what we'll do is just download this file and we'll show in the folder here. All right so there's our file so what we'll do is jump over back over to WinSCP um, and we can go up a folder here and go to downloads. There's our um, video file. So what we can do is just drag and drop that um, and hit OK to copy that over to the RetroPie. And now that that's on the RetroPie, we can go ahead and close out of WinSCP. And close everything down here. Now we'll jump over to the RetroPie and activate the boot animation. So now that we're here on our RetroPie, what we want to do, as you can see, I don't have anything, any ROMs installed right now, so the only option I have is to go into the configuration menu. So we'll go into configuration, go down to RetroPie setup. Here in the configuration menu, we'll go down to configuration tools and we'll go down here to splash screens and we want to choose a splash screen and we're going to pick our own or an extra splash screen and it will automatically load the files that we've dumped or the video files that we've dumped in the splash screens folder. So we're going to hit clean 16 by 9 Okay, okay, and that is it. Now, what we can do is go to cancel and back, 
and exit. This will take us back to the menu. What we can do here is quit out of emulation station and we will restart the system and we will see our animation when it comes back up. The animation here is about 30 seconds. Um, that's typically the amount of time your RetroPie needs to scan games and get everything loaded to get you into emulation station. You can also use different video files or static images if you want. One thing to take into consideration is the screen that you're going to be using your RetroPie with. Try to find a video file or image that has the same aspect ratio as the screen you plan to use with your RetroPie. Adding a boot animation to your RetroPie is one step of many to really polish your RetroPie setup. Check out my other videos in my RetroPie series to learn more. Thank you guys for stopping in. If you have a suggestion for a video you'd like to see from me, make sure to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.